Okay, be strong for this video, be strong, don't cry. Don't cry, be strong. Suck them in. Be strong, it's not that bad. Right everybody, as you can tell by the title of the video, it's not going to be a happy fun one today. Uh, it's basically advertising my Defender. I've had this Land Rover since 2015 and it's been 100% reliable. Yes, I've had to change a battery. Yes, I've changed the alternator and I have done a few jobs on it, but it has never let me down. It's never had to be towed and it's never come home on a recovery truck. Um, I'm very, very sad to see it go, but due to a change in circumstances, a change in job, change in lifestyle, uh, I'm going to be getting rid of it um, and pff, looking for something else in the future, I suppose. Um, yeah, so come with me. I'll walk you around it, tell you a little bit about its history, do a few drone shots and stuff, and uh, we can go from there. Let's start at the front of the vehicle because that's where we are. We've got a Raptor 4x4 tubular bumper with all the attachment points for your D-shackles. We've got a Shire fabrication steering guard. And uh, attached to the bumper, we've got a super winch. Uh, four and a, four, well, just under four and a half. It's 4,300 kilo winch or a 9,500 pound winch. Never had to use it, to be fair. Um, above that, moving above, we have got the Halo uh, LED headlights. You will have seen them in all the videos. They look really good. They're proper turn heads and uh, they do flash orange when you indicate as well. Uh, and the DRLs are all wired up and everything. Under here where you can't see, we have got an old man emu steering damper. Um, so under here, we have actually got galvanized strut, strut tops. I'll uh, do a few shots in a second and, and wind them into this bit. We've got uh, just under 33 inch tires. They're, they're a, a size just below and they are on the offset offset modular so they're really really deep and uh, they're, they're coated in the Cooper STT tyres, off-road tyres. Um, underneath uh, the, the, the chassis is actually galvanised on this vehicle it was basically bought as an unfinished project by myself and um, they'd already put the, the running gear and the, the galvanised chassis on it so I've just built on from that and just improved there. Moving down the vehicle a little bit we've got the rock sliders the rock sliders and the tree sliders, these were from Shire Fabrications. Um, they are looking a little bit, they've got a bit of surface rust on them at the moment. So they do need taking back and painting. We'll be up to the next uh, the next owner to do that. I've actually got the heavy duty um, door hinges on as well. So uh, anyone who knows Land Rovers know they suffer really bad from, uh, from, from door drop. And um, that's when you have to slam the door 15 times to get it shut with this one. Nothing like that, just a gentle push, shuts the door every time. You don't have to bang it, it engages very, very well. It doesn't bounce a million times and the passenger side is exactly the same as well. I'll show you around the other side in a second. But yeah, that's basically the side. Um, right up at the top, let me move the camera up a little bit. We have got the roof rack from MCB 4x4. Now I did put the roof rack on it because I was going to go roof tent, but then I um, met Rich and I bought the trailer off him. So uh, the the roof rack has actually been redundant ever since I bought it. Um, has got a roof bar on it with the LED spotlights, as you will have seen from the front bumper as well. It has got LED spotlights all over the damn thing. Moving over to the passenger side, as you can see, it's got a Safari snorkel on it. Uh, and again, the Shire Fabs uh, rock slider, tree slider just here, uh, that does need sanding back and repainting. Uh, the doors on this vehicle, although they all open and close, perfect, again, there's no bouncing, there's no missing the latch. They close every time. Uh, the doors will need replacing soon or repairing, one of the two, because um, they are starting to go. One of the common problems on Land Rover is when it's raining, the rain runs down into, inside the door and rots out the bottom of the door, which has definitely started happening on this vehicle. Um, also, the doors on this vehicle are aluminium and where the window mechanism touches, so where the steel window mechanism touches the aluminium, it rots and uh, causes the aluminium to oxidise, which is started here. So all the paint's starting to bubble. In fact, um, the paint has started flaking off, so I've had to touch up the paintwork because it's gone back down to the aluminium just here on this door. So that's something the new owner will have to look at, maybe a couple of new doors or patching up these doors to get you by. So moving around to the back of the vehicle, we have got a swing away arm. And uh, yeah, the back door will probably need replacing at some stage as well, although it is quite solid at the moment. Um, this plate was put on by myself because that's where the old wheel was mounted. I'll probably be keeping the, um, 
the tow bar because I'm going to need that for my trailer, right? Eh? But um, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, as you can see, the cross member again galvanized because it's a galvanized full chassis. Um, yeah, all solid and it's sprayed the same color as the vehicle. Opening up the back, all the inside. I mean, I'm still using it so you can see I've got some crap in there. But um, yeah, all the inside on the bottom half is is got a uh, checker plate in liner as well as the back of the door and from halfway up right over the roof and back down it's all carpeted the exhaust even though it looks uh, a little bit rusty down there it is quite a new exhaust so that's probably just surface rust but to be fair if i had a bit more time i'd probably remove the exhaust and put a full stainless steel system through it just to complement the car it's a decent car it needs a decent exhaust um, right, let me move you around to the inside and we'll have a quick look on the interior. Right, so we're in the vehicle now. As you can see, it's got a Momo uh, half leather, half suede steering wheel. Uh, it has got the chrome uh, surround around all the clocks. Uh, it's just done under 114,000, call it, for a 200 TDI that, on its original engine, that is really, really low mileage, especially when you take into consideration that it's almost 30 years old. Um, moving across to the centre console, I think it's an RDX one. This was already in when I got the vehicle. Um, it's got the added switches there, which do the roof lights and a few other uh, things around the vehicle. It's got the uh, turbo boost gauge and it's got the battery voltage gauge. And it's also got a Pioneer Bluetooth stereo that syncs to your phone and uh, yeah, it's hands-free basically. Uh, it's got a few cup holders and stuff that I just use for carrying bits and bobs. And uh, it's got a, a cubby box just here that I'd probably change if I was keeping it, to be fair. But it's a metal, heavy-duty one. Um, it's also got the Mazda RX-8 seats that I'll, I'll flip the camera around in a second and show you. But um, moving down to the floor, you're not going to be able to see, but it's got a really heavy-duty, thick, uh, soundproofing carpet just here um, that does really well in keeping it very, very quiet. And it goes right the way over the seat boxes as well. So um, it is one of the quieter Land Rovers that I've been in. It's, um, it, it, it's quite a nice, comfortable place to be when you're in it. Um, right. I bought this, as I say, back in 2015. I bought it as a project and it was really, really rough. I'll put some pictures up of what it looked like when I got it. Um, some of the jobs had been started on it, but it was rough. Um, so I started doing work. So back 2015, 2016, I had it ready. So basically for six years, I've run it like it was after I did the work. So I'm not by any way, means or shape or form saying it's mint. It does need updating and it does need a refresh. Um, the engine and box, absolutely perfect. It's just all cosmetic stuff. Um, driver's door, a lot more solid than the passenger door. So it will need a passenger door probably in the next sort of 12 to 18 months. Um, but if you're going to do that, you may as well replace all three doors. Um, then it's probably going to need painting. You're going to be painting three doors anyway. So change the colour. Put whatever colour you want. Um, the chassis, absolutely mint. The chassis was put on just before I got it. So the chassis is probably about eight or nine years old. If you don't know, these galvanised chassis probably come with a 20 to 25 year warranty. Um, they are warranted for that long. Uh, the bulkhead has got no holes in it at the moment, but it is starting to blister in places. So it will need looking at when you're painting it, you'll probably be able to sand it back and just clear it straight away. Um, I'm not sure I mentioned the bonnet, so I'll quickly talk about the bonnet in a second when I take you outside and we'll have a look what's under the bonnet as well. Okay, so I've brought you to under the bonnet. Nothing um, untoward going on under here, apart from the uh, aftermarket silicone orange hoses. Uh, it is a Defender 200 TDI. You can tell that by the turbo being on top. Um, on the disco versions, the turbo is a lot lower down. Um, yeah, it's an oversized intercooler in it. You can see here it's wider. It's meant to be as wide as the, as the radiator. So it's an oversized intercooler. And uh, yeah, nothing really untoward under here. Um, I'll bring you in for a quick close up and I'll quickly show you the rest of the engine bay and you know exactly what you're buying and what's going on.
Right, everybody, while this drone footage is going on in the background, I thought I'd let you all know that I've probably forgotten to disclose loads of modifications. So below in the description box, I will leave a full list of everything this vehicle has on it. If you are interested, also in the description box will be a link to my Instagram. You can contact me, DM me through my Instagram, just there. All right, folks, take this opportunity to wish you all well. Hope you're all doing very well. And I'll see you all very soon in another video. You all take care.